Happy Saturday. A front remains stalled to our north and west, and yes, that means more rain expected for both today and tomorrow. Those tropical downpours are likely, and when I say tropical, I mean locally strong because we have plenty of atmospheric moisture for our storms to work with and the rain chances continue on Monday through Wednesday. Numerous storms in the forecast. The good news though, the silver lining to these clouds is that we are expecting things to remain quiet in the Atlantic, especially with respect to anything close to us here in Florida. 60% rain coverage today. Highs in the 87 to 89 range at the coast. 90 plus possible inland. Lows tonight then near the 80 degree mark. We failed to drop below 80 in many spots on Saturday morning. That's going to be a similar thing for us on Sunday as well. The RPM model shows scattered coverage of shower and thunderstorm activity. One or two areas of red on the radar possible, including a couple storms containing lightning. As we head toward evening, though, we're going to be mainly drying out. So a little bit better weather for folks uh, that are going out a little bit later on and partying it up tonight. As we head toward Sunday morning, rain comes back in the forecast with rain likely once again throughout the day Sunday. And then as we head toward Monday, you guessed it, more rain on the way, likely for most of us here on the Sun Coast. Highs around the country on Saturday, remarkably hot still. Record heat, it could be an all-time record hot day for parts of the Dallas-Fort Worth area. 109, 110, even 112 degrees expected for some parts of the DFW Metroplex there. And then in the southeast, we could be talking about some strong to severe storms across portions of the deep south. For us, not expecting severe weather, fortunately, but we are expecting some locally strong storms, as I mentioned before. Looking around the area at tropical satellite imagery, good news as far as anything uh, actually tropical, no organized development expected as the Saharan air layer, that area of dust at the mid and upper levels of the atmosphere continues to work its way uh, throughout our area. That means we do not expect any development as far as anything tropical or organized. There will still be plenty of atmospheric moisture though, and so we are expecting more rain coverage as this area of deep atmospheric moisture just sits right over us over the next week or so. We're going to have better chances to stay a little bit drier for a little bit longer Thursday and Friday, but still 50-50 rain coverage even as we head toward the end of next week. And if you're headed to the beach today, in addition to the thunderstorms, high red tide and a high rip current risk as well. That's a little different as we're seeing those winds pick up a little bit. And uh, if you're just dead set on getting out to the beach, Manatee County is going to be your best bet as far as those red tide conditions go. Locally high levels in Sarasota and Charlotte counties through Monday. There's your seven day forecast. Rain chances stand at 60% through Wednesday.